lead discovery and optimization in analog design. Drug discovery is the process by which drugs are discovered and designed. Some notable examples are the discovery of quinine from synchrona bark through ethnobotanical approach and erythromycin from streptomyces erythreus through random sampling. Through the years, the methods for conducting drug discovery has advanced. The current trend now is through analog design. Analog design is the modification of a drug molecule or any bioactive compound in order to prepare a new molecule showing chemical and biological similarity with the original compound. The goal of analog design is to retain or reinforce the desirable pharmacologic effect while minimizing unwanted pharmacological results and physical chemical properties. However, the concept of analog design presupposes that a lead has been discovered. So the first step of analog design is lead discovery, followed by its optimization. Lead discovery is the identification of a chemical compound responsible for a pharmacological or biological activity that has potential therapeutic use. After a lead is identified, it can then be modified to improve its potency. There are several methods which can be used for lead identification or lead discovery. One method is random screening. Random screening entails testing all compounds, including synthetic chemicals, natural products, marine and microbial origin, in the hope of finding a promising lead. This, however, constitutes a large amount of cost and manpower, but this method can be used to discover drugs or leads with unexpected activities. Streptomycin and tetracycline was discovered this way. Non-random screening is a modified form of random screening which was developed because of budgetary and manpower constraints. In this method, only such compounds having similar structural skeletons with that of the lead are tested. Through drug metabolism studies, the effects of the metabolizing enzymes in our body as well as the metabolites produced from the drug are evaluated. In essence, Structural modifications are done in the drug molecule by the enzymes to increase its polarity. An example of a drug that was discovered through drug metabolism studies is sulfonilamide, which was derived from the metabolism of potential. Many times, the drug possesses more than one pharmacological activity. The main activity is called the therapeutic effect, while the rest are called side effects. These side effects may be modified and improved in terms of potency, so that it may be developed for another useful indication. Many examples of drugs indicated as analgesics and sedatives were later on developed to become tricyclic antidepressants. The knowledge about the receptors and their mode of interaction with the drug molecules plays an important role in drug design. This knowledge may be used to develop confirmationally bioactive skeletons having exact three-dimensional complementarity to a receptor greater potency, higher selectivity, and less adverse effects are expected by reducing the flexibility of the drug structure. This approach is of greater importance in identification of lead nucleus. It involves the use of signs and symptoms of the disease. Lead optimization is the synthetic modification of lead or bioactive compounds and is the final drug discovery phase. The objective of this phase is to maintain favorable properties in lead compounds while improving on deficiencies in the lead structure in terms of the physical chemical, pharmacokinetic, and toxicologic parameters. Once the lead nucleus is identified, it is easy to exploit. Thus, in designing an analog, molecular modifications of the lead compound can involve different strategies. One strategy identified here is the identification of the active part or pharmacophore. Any drug molecule would consist of both the essential part, which is important in governing pharmacodynamic properties, and the non-essential part that influences the pharmacokinetic features. The relevant groups on a molecule interacting with a receptor are known as bioactive functional groups. The schematic representation of the nature of such bioactive functional groups, along with the interatomic distances, are known as pharmacophore. Once the pharmacophore is identified, Structural modifications on essential and non-essential parts of the drug molecule are done to improve pharmacodynamic and pharmacokinetic properties. The activity of a drug can be correlated to structure in terms of the contribution of its functional groups to the lipophilicity, electronic, and steric features of the drug skeleton. Thus, by modifying and selecting the proper functional groups, one can govern the drug distribution pattern and can avoid occurrences of side effects. 
The physiological action of a molecule is a function of its chemical constitution, which is the basis of the interpretation of the activity in terms of the structural features of a drug molecule. Generalized conclusion can be made after examining a sufficient number of drug analogs. The concept of bioisosterism was derived from Langmuir's observation in which certain physical properties of chemically different substances are strikingly similar. Generally, bioisosteres are groups or substituents that have similar physical or chemical properties which produce similar biological activities. A bioisosteric substitution can influence the electronic, lipophilic, and steric parameters of a drug, thus affecting pharmacodynamic and pharmacokinetic properties. Increasing molecular rigidity for example, by incorporating a flexible molecule into a ring system or by adding double or triple bonds, increases the specificity of the pharmacologic effect of the lead compound. By using this strategy, the 3D geometry of the pharmacophore as well as the structure activity parameters may be determined and defined. Alkyl chain Homologation of alkyl chains, alteration of chain branching, or changing the ring size or ring position isomers affects the ability of the molecule to achieve complementarity with its receptor or the catalytic site of an enzyme. In short, these changes alter the molecule's binding capacity and may potentially increase the desired pharmacologic response. In the design of stereoisomers and geometric isomers, assuming that only one enantiomer is active is invalid. Some enantiomers exhibit bifunctional mode of activity, and both must be explored in the process of lead optimization. Some complex lead molecules contain parts that may not be necessary to produce the desired pharmacologic effect, and are thus broken down to the pertinent fragments. Bond disconnection, or the removal of bonds to destroy complicating rings often found in natural products, may be employed to create a compound that is more easily synthesized than the original lead molecule. As in the case of morphine, whose analgesic activity is retained even when the ring system is simplified to metazosin. And finally, the distances between portions of the lead molecule, whether these portions are part of the pharmacophore or not, may also be altered to produce changes in the pharmacologic activity of the compound. In summary, the goals of lead discovery and lead optimization is to improve the activity and selectivity of the lead compound and to minimize, and if possible, eliminate its side effects through its modification that will maximize its interaction with its target binding site. Another goal of drug discovery is to be able to produce the drug cheaply and efficiently. Lead discovery and optimization is an invaluable tool that provides the researcher with information they need to select the lead with the greatest potential to be developed into a safe and effective medicine.